Let's write a program that has a graphical user interface with a checkbox and see if we can't figure out how to listen for user interactions with that checkbox so that we can print to the screen whenever we hear the user check or uncheck that checkbox. I've gotten myself started here in advance with some skeleton code. Now let's go and fill in the blank. First, after allocating that window, I'm going to go ahead and allocate a G checkbox, calling it checkbox. And I'm going to assign to it the return value of new G checkbox. And I'm going to pass in a string of, say, I agree. In other words, that's the label that will be associated with that checkbox. Next, let's go ahead and call set action command, passing in the checkbox, and passing in a unique identifier like check. In other words, I want to associate a unique word, somewhat arbitrarily, but specifically in this case, check, so that when this checkbox is checked, I can potentially uniquely identify that checkbox if my interface happened to have multiple checkboxes. Let's next add the checkbox to the user interface with add to region, passing in window, passing in checkbox, and passing in quote unquote south. South being a unique identifier defined in the Stanford Portable Library that simply refers to the southern region or the bottom region of a user interface. Let's next deliberately induce an infinite loop. Inside of this loop, let's now listen for three actions. One, the user trying to close the window. Two, the user checking the box. And three, the user unchecking the box. Let's first declare a G action event, calling it event, and assign to it the return value of wait for event passing in action underscore event, a constant declared in the Stanford Portable Library that indicates that I'd like to listen for an action. Let's next check if get event type, passing in event, equals equals window underscore closed, another constant declared in the Stanford Portable Library that indicates that indeed the window has been closed, then let's break out of my otherwise infinite loop. Lastly, let's listen for the user checking the box or unchecking the box as follows. If string compare of get action command passing an event, comma, quote unquote, check equals equals zero. In other words, if the unique identifier associated with the checkbox that's been checked is, quote unquote, check, the unique identifier that I supplied earlier, then let's proceed to do the following. If is selected checkbox, then I'm going to print out, for instance, checkbox was checked. Else, I'm going to assume that the checkbox was unchecked, and so I'm going to print out this instead. Printf, checkbox was unchecked. In other words, is selected is another function defined in the Stanford Portable Library that does exactly that check if a checkbox is selected. Let's now save, compile, and run this program. Make checkbox dot slash checkbox. There's my user interface. And indeed, there is my checkbox. If I now click it, checkbox was checked. And if I click it again, checkbox was unchecked.